Mawiyah and abusing Imam Ali alayhi salam. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam has said, Loving Ali is a sign of belief and hating Ali is a sign of hypocrisy. Abu Huraira narrated that the Prophet sallallahu looked toward Imam Ali alayhi salam, Imam Hassan alayhi salam, Imam Hussain alayhi salam, and B. Fatma sallallahu alayhi and said, I am in the state of war with those who will fight with you and in the state of peace with those who are peaceful to you. The Messenger of Allah said, Whoever hurts Ali has hurt me. The Messenger of Allah has said, Whoever curses Ali has cursed me. It is a well known fact in the history that Mawiya fought Imam Ali Islam, and based on the above tradition of the Prophet, the Prophet has declared war on Mawiya. How can we still love a person whom the Prophet has declared war on? Mawiya instituted the cursing of Imam Ali. Mawiya not only fought Imam Ali salam, he cursed Imam Ali salam as well. Furthermore, he did force he forced everyone to curse Imam Ali salam as well. Narrated by Saad bin Abi Waqqas, Mawiya, the son of Abu Sufyan, gave an order to Saad and told him what prevents you that you are refraining from cursing Abu Turab, which is the nickname of Imam Ali salam. Saad replied, Don't you remember that the Prophet salam, said three things about the virtue of Ali, so I will never curse Ali. Though, in many of the Shia books, Saad bin Abi Waqqas isn't considered like such a good person. So, yeah, here I've only put it because uh, there was Sunni reference. And the above tradition indicates that Mawiyah was surprised why Saad did not follow his orders of cursing Imam Ali alayhi salam like others did. This shows that cursing Imam Ali alayhi salam was a habit, a uh, sunnah, quote unquote. For the people at that time, who made this sunnah? Was it Imam Ali Islam or those who fought against him? Now, who fought Imam Ali Islam? Wasn't he, which is Mawiya, the beloved companion of the Wahhabis? So this implies that Mawiya did innovate the habit of cursing Imam Ali Islam as a sunnah. The governor of Medina, who was one of the members of the House of Marwan, called Sahel ibn Saad, ordered him to curse Ali, but Sahel refused to do so. The governor said, if you don't want to curse Ali, just say God curse Abu Turab, which is the nickname of Ali. Sahel said, Ali did not, na- na- did not like any name for himself better than Abu Turab, and Ali used to become very happy when someone would call him Abu Turab. Cursing Imam Ali Islam was in order from the beginning of Mawiyah's reign for 65 years. It was Umar ibn Abdul Aziz who canceled this order after more than half a century. Some historians even believe that the Umayyad dynasties or descendants themselves killed Umar ibn Abdul Aziz because he changed their sunnah, one of which was cursing Ali. One of the ugliest innovations that started during the reign of Mawiya was that Mawiya himself and through his order to the governors, they used to insult Imam Ali salam during the sermons in the mosque. This was even done on the pulpit of the mosque of the Prophet ﷺ in Medina, in front of the grave of the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ. So that even the dearest companions of the Prophet ﷺ and Imam Ali ﷺ and his family and his new relatives used to hear their swears with their ears. In her letter, Umm Salma, the wife of the Prophet ﷺ, wrote to Mawiyah, You are cursing Allah and his messenger on your member. And that is because you are cursing Ali ibn Abi Talib salam, and whoever loves him. And I am the witness that Allah and his messenger loved him. But no one paid any attention to what she said. Shaykh Ahmad al-Hafti al-Shafi composed nine verses of poetry expanding on what Ayu Sayyuti had reported, which said, that, is, that it was what they made into a sunnah, 70,000 member plus 10 from the top of which they cursed Haydar. And next to this, the greatest sins look small, but blame ought to be directed. After Yazid's death, Mawiyah the second, who is also known as Mawiyah Sagir, gathered the people on a well-known day. He stood in them and preached, preaching and said, My grandfather Mawiyah stripped the command from those who deserved it, and from one who is more justified of it. 
for his relation to the Messenger of Allah and his first being in Islam, and that is Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. He, Mawiyah, took it over by your help, as you are fully aware. Then following it, my father Yazid bore the command after him, and he did not deserve it. He quarreled with the son of the daughter of the Messenger of Allah, and by that he shortened his own life. He rode his whim, and hope left him behind. Then he cried and continued, Surely the greatest of problems of us is our knowledge of his bad behavior and his awful ending, and that he killed the progeny of the Messenger of Allah, and he permitted drinking alcohol, and he fought in the sanctuary of Mecca and destroyed the Kaaba. I am not the one who is dressing up for your command, nor the one to be responsible for your followers. You chose for yourself. Mawiyah and Yazid murdered Imam Hassan ibn Ali alayhi salam by poison, which is reported by many. There is no reference needed to know that Yazid killed Imam Hussein alayhi salam at Karbala. When Mawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan put on Mughira al Shuba in charge of Kufa, he summoned him. After praising the and glorifying God, he said, Now then, indeed a forbearing person has been admonished in the past. The wise might do what you want without instruction. Although I have wanted to advise you about many things, I left them alone, trusting in your discernment of what pleases me, what helps my regime, and what sets my subject on the right path. I would continue to advise you about a quality of yours. Do not refrain from abusing Ali and criticizing him not from asking God's mercy upon Uthman and his forgiveness for him. Continue to shame the companions of Ali, keep at a distance, and don't listen to them. Praise the faction of Uthman, bring them near, and listen to them. Horrible. More from Sahih Muslim. Allah's Messenger وسلم, said to Ammar, A group of rebels would kill you. This narration is clearly indicative of the fact that in conflict between Imam Ali and his companions, Imam Ali was right as Ammar ibn Yasir was killed in the Battle of Safin, fighting in the camp of Imam Ali The Prophet ﷺ has said, If one while praying between Rukun and Maqam, which is somewhere near the Kaaba, I'm not exactly sure where though, and fasting dies, but with the hate of the family of Muhammad, he will enter the fire. And he who abuses my elevate is barely an apostate, and is driven out of Islam. And he who inflicts pain upon my progeny, upon him is the curse of Allah. And he who hurts me by hurting my progeny has barely hurt and angered Allah. Certainly, uh, Allah has made paradise forbidden to he who does injustice to my elevate, or kills them, or assists them, or abuses them. Messenger of Allah has said, Whoever curses or verbally abuses Ali, he has in fact cursed me. And whoever has cursed me, he has cursed Allah. And whoever has cursed Allah, then Allah will throw him into the hellfire. Thus, Mawiyah and his associates were, in fact, cursing the Prophet And by cursing the Prophet they were cursing Allah SWT. And by cursing Allah, they shall enter the hellfire. By Allah, they will be asked to account for what they've said. That is a promise by Allah which he shall not break. And do not think Allah to be heedless of what the unjust do. He only respites them up to a day on which the eyes will be fixedly opened. In conclusion, Mawiya had started the cursing of Mawali and he is the one who will be in hellfire.